impressed by that. All right, well, you guys have done a really great job. It looks like we're getting a lot of our team on here. I'm super excited about it because I think it's so important um, for you guys to hear it from the legend himself, Mr. Eric Worre. Uh, he's been a mentor for Ricky and I for a really long time. It's been a dream come true to be at his house this last past weekend with just, you know, top leaders within the industry. And, you know, it's just interesting, you know, that um, it's actually happening, right? Like we were sitting here and Ricky does like this big deep breath and he's like, Whew. and I'm like, what's wrong? You nervous? And I looked over him. I'm like, wait a second. You have to introduce Eric Worre, right? Hold on. Like, no, seriously? you do. Oh, me? Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to be you. You get all the pressure, right? I'll just sit here and look pretty. I'll be like... It's usually how it goes. The yeah. woman starts it and the man finishes that's it, right? That's right, right. Well, you know. That's ah. <laughs> oh, I love you, though. All right, Eric's here. Let's bring him on. This okay. is going to be real fun trying to find him here. All right. Um, uh, let's see. There, there he, is. he is. Oh, no. Just switch. Let's the man, see. the legend, Mr. Eric Ward. I asked him to mute, Eric. Uh, spotlight. Howdy. Oh, my goodness. There you are. Okay. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good to How see you. How are you doing, brother? I'm great. Great. Pounding. Fired up people here tonight. And uh, we appreciate you getting on. It's a blessing. It's an honor for us to be a part not only of this movement inside the profession, but also for you to be a part of our team mm -hmm. and our lives. Uh, we had a tremendous uh, amount of fun yeah. at your house, but we so learned a lot. Our vision expanded and uh, we got a new fire, right? That's right. Yes. Yeah, so, so um, but yeah, if you haven't and don't know who Eric Worre is, I call him the godfather <laughs> of network marketing, uh, training and coaching and developing. Uh, there was a void in this space and this man took up that mantle and he came out there and started putting free information out there. He has a training website we're, we're going to share with all of you guys and gals. Um, he really has helped my wife and I've been instrumental in our success from afar. You know, you can have mentors that are close. You can have mentors that are uh, far away. And Eric was one of them. As I told all of you, 2021's already been planned in my wife and I's mind. We started that five years ago. And tonight is part of that plan. When we start, saw Eric a long time ago, we said, we are going to listen to everything he said. In my mind, GoPro is one of the best, probably the best network marketing mm -hmm. books written for the basic principles for you to go out and build the business. There's other books that'll help you with the belief, but the basics is the best book. And mm -hmm. from what I hear, he's coming out with another one. So we read that book over and over and over. We got it to our team. We watched every interview he's done. We've watched his trainings. We've went on GoPro and done you many like things yeah. <laughs> <We're groupies. laughs> and uh, our goal was to one day be personally mentored by him but also where you guys can have that leverage and the day is here uh, my wife and i are committed to getting over a thousand people to the gopro event um thousands of people mm -hmm. to the seven day challenge mm -hmm. i think when it's all said and done after talking to dal and daniel we're going to have um, 2,000 people to the GoPro event at least. So, you know, I just want you guys to listen. I hope you have paper and I hope you uh, take this in tonight because what we start tonight is going to be what moves us forward in 2021. And it starts now with, with Mr. Godfather, Eric Worre. <laughs> it sounds so old. Like it's really <laughs> A fairy godfather or something. Oh, oh, yeah. um, so, Ricky Francois, good, great to see you. Um, it was fun to hang out this last weekend, and uh, for the rest of the, the people here, I look forward to be able to to see you in person sometime soon. Had a great call with Dallin last week. What a great leader! Uh, had a, had another great call today with Daniel, and um, you're in good hands. You you made a good choice, good company, good timing, good, good positioning. And uh, Ricky and, and, and uh, Francois, I would tell you, they're something special. You should, you should feel fortunate that you get to work with these people because you know what? They're not going to lose. Number one, they got a big heart. You know, they, 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 uh, they really care. And, and in all the conversations, they talk about how much they care for you as their team. But, but um, there's real value 
in aligning yourself with somebody who's not going to lose. Somebody who's going to go to the top. And the, and, and the great thing about going to the top in our profession, they can't do it without helping you. You know, they can't win without you winning. It's impossible. So it's just a matter of who among you are ready the most. Who's ready to be able to make a life-changing kind of decision and develop yourself into a network marketing professional? I'll tell you a couple things. Um, well, several things. First of all, I've been involved in this profession for 32 years now, okay? So before some of you were born, um, back in 1988, man, I got involved in network marketing. Uh, and I would love to tell you that I had a rocket ship and I was able to make a, a lot of money in my first several years. But the truth is, uh, your hosts here are, were much better than I was at, at having fast success in network marketing. I really struggled. I, and to be honest, when I look back at my first three years in network marketing, I was, I was trying to get lucky. I was hoping that network marketing would, would make up for my lack of skill and discipline and, and talent. Um, but it can't do that. You can be in the right place at the right time, and it really won't matter unless you become the right person in the right place at the right time. And for me, I wasn't the right person and I was focused on the wrong things. And I started to, well, I made a decision. I talk about it in GoPro. I made a decision to walk away from trying to get lucky. And I just decided I was gonna become a professional inside of network marketing. I was in my twenties. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna learn this. I'm gonna become world-class at this. And then I'll have to be on the stage. I'll have to find a way to, you know, the company will have to invite me to speak at the conference and I'll have to get the awards that other people get and all these other kinds of things. I'll, I'll, I'll have to be able to earn the money because at the beginning, all I wanted to do is make some money. And three and a half years in, I finally decided to let go and start learning some skills. And I got to tell you, the moment, the moment that I made the decision that I'm going to become highly skilled at network marketing, all the fear that I had in my body left my body in that moment. And I had a plan. I knew what I was going to do. And you got, uh, you got, might have to mute Tanya. I'll take the response as your response. You got her? There you go. Um, yeah, I still got to get her. Make me co-host or something. And then I'll, I, I got to share my screen anyway. Got it. Cool. Okay. So once I made this decision to learn some skills and the, the greatest thing is once I found out that the skills are not that hard to learn. Let me tell you what's really, really hard and frustrating and miserable. Try to succeed in network marketing without the skills. That is a miserable life. And the skills are not hard. I talk about them in, Go in GoPro. It's finding prospects, inviting prospects, presenting to prospects, following up with prospects, closing prospects, getting new people started, and promoting events. That's not neurosurgery. That's pretty simple. So I just decided I was going to do that. And once I did, my, my confidence went up as soon as I started taking some steps. My confidence went up. When my confidence went up, I started taking more action. When I took more action, I got better results. And it made me want to go learn more skills. It was the most amazing thing. So I realized in that moment, in that little season, that for the first time in my life, I was going to go to the top, number one. I, I literally mentally ignored all the ranks except for distributor and the top rank. The rest were literally irrelevant. I was going to get to the top rank. It was just a matter of how long. The, the other things were just mile posts. There was only one rank and it was the top one. And I stopped comparing myself to other people as far as how fast they were going because that was really damaging to me. 
And I just, you know, they're on their journey and I'm on mine and I'm going to get there when I get there, but I'm actually going to get there. Okay. And I also realized that for the first time in my life, nothing and no one could stop me. If I wanted to become CEO of Coca-Cola, lots of things could stop me. If I wanted to become a NFL quarterback, lots of things could stop me. But to get to the top rank in my company, nothing could stop me. I adopted a philosophy that I never lose. I never lose. Either I win or I learn. Okay? And you can't beat me. Guess what? I learn more from failing than I do from succeeding. So there's no good experiences. There's no bad experiences. There's just learning experiences. So I'm just going to learn by having more experiences. And I'm not going to care what other people think of me. And I'm not going to let other people's opinions affect my life. And I'm not going to be worried about being perfect and looking good all the time. I'm just going to get better every single minute, every single day. And so long as I get better and I work on my skills, I work on myself, then I'm going to get to the top. And it's my life. I'm going to do it. Watch me. So I will tell you, once you make a decision to go to the top, this business gets pretty easy. And until you make a decision, it stays pretty hard. So I made the decision. I started working on the skills. I didn't let anything affect me. Uh, I learned to discipline my disappointment. You know, it used to knock me down if somebody said no to me or somebody on my team joined and quit a week later. And it used to bother me for like a month and then it would bother me for a week and then it would bother me for a day and then it would bother me for an hour and then it would bother me for five minutes and then it would bother. So I just got better. I learned to get better through the whole process. So skills were the thing. And if I give you any advice, start with the skills. Because if you just put all the pressure on your upline or the company or somebody else to do everything for you, it might not happen. But if you develop the skills, here's my promise. If you develop the skills, you never have to worry about making money and paying bills for the rest of your life. You have a set of marketable skills that are so valuable inside of our profession, you can make money on demand whenever you wish. You never have to answer to somebody else. You never have to, have to compromise your values by working for some employer that might have different values than you. You literally have freedom. And I'm not necessarily riches, but freedom. You'll be able to pay your bills. You'll be able to survive no matter what. So the skills were the big thing for me. The second big thing for me was mindset. I needed to learn how to think like an entrepreneur and not just like an employee. And entrepreneurs think different. I needed to learn to take action before I was fully prepared. I needed to learn to stop blaming everybody else for my problems and take responsibility. I needed to learn how to reprogram my mind because I had a set of beliefs that were not serving me. And I will give you a piece of advice. And the piece of advice is this. Don't necessarily believe everything you believe. And that might sound confusing, right? Let me explain what I mean. Some of you believe that you're not a leader. That's not true. Some of you believe that you're a better behind the scenes person. And that's not true. Some of you believe that you're lazy. That's not true. Some of you have beliefs, belief systems that were implanted in you at a very young age that are not serving you and have been putting a lid on your capabilities for ever since those they sunk their claws into you. And be willing to examine the negative beliefs about yourself and to reject them and to replace them with something a little bit more positive. And I would love to say you can just wave a magic wand and it would happen, but those beliefs were entrenched over decades for some of you, and it might take a little time to reverse that. And I would also, in all honesty and candor with you, tell you that one of my biggest struggles was um, my own lack of self-confidence. And I was a good faker, I was a good pretender, but I didn't feel worthy. 
I didn't feel capable. I didn't feel deserving. So even when I made some money inside of my business, I found a way to sabotage it because I didn't feel like I deserved it. I felt like I was an imposter. I felt like I was a fraud. I felt like, you know, they're going to figure me out any second because I'm not very good at this. So that negative self-belief manifested itself in so many ways. And I would just encourage you to just explore this. And you know what I needed to say over and over to myself and, and, and to surround myself with people who thought the same is I am worthy and I am capable and I am deserving. And it's hard to say that. Really, it was hard for me to say that. I'm capable. I'm deserving. I am worthy. It sounded so arrogant to, to even say it. And if you grew up like I grew up, you can, you can misinterpret even some of the scripture that says it's hard for a rich person to get into heaven. I mean, every single rich person on the Titanic was an absolute jerk. The only happy people were the poor people that had no money down in the bottom of the boat. All the rich people were jerks. We get programmed on this stuff. So mindset's a really big deal. If you have some basic skills and you're not where you want to be in your, in your business, after a reasonable period of time, it's here. It's in your thinking that's putting a lid on you. You got to examine that stuff. And the good news is network marketing will help you examine it. Network marketing will force you to become a better version of yourself. <laughs> at least it did for me. Thank God. Third thing to look at, if you want to have a big career in network marketing, third thing to look at is strategy. How do you take the skills and the mindset and go faster? How do you do that? strategy. I, I did it in a number of different ways, and I'll just share it with you. The first way is by modeling other successful people. Who's the most successful person you know inside your company or inside of network marketing? Model them and copy what they do. It's like a huge shortcut. When I was growing up in school, you got penalized if you copied somebody's test. But if you copy somebody it's in your upline or in your company, you get to have their results and they give you awards for it. They don't penalize you for it. So I just learned to be, pay, attention, pay attention to what successful people actually did and do that. The other thing I did is I learned to find mentors that could help me go faster. And I'll give you a secret on mentors. You know, some people have really a misperception about mentors. Some people think, well, I want somebody to show up in my house and force me to do what I'm capable of doing and to give me an exact roadmap and to guide me along the way and hold my hand. Mentors don't work like that, especially at the beginning. They used to tell me, oh, go buy a, a millionaire lunch. Well, good luck with that if you're minimum wage. It's hard to do, to get some time with somebody super successful. So most of my mentors never knew that they were mentoring me. They were mentoring me through their books. They were mentoring me through audio programs like crazy. They were mentoring me through video. They weren't like in my house, but like Jim Rohn was one of my mentors. He never knew it. For years, he didn't know it until, until we met and became friends later. But I will tell you, if Jim Rohn was my best friend and he was a mentor, he would sit in my house maybe one time and he would give me a three or four hour seminar on how to live better, right? But since I had his audio program with that same information, I could listen to that 500 times, a thousand times. He wouldn't give me 4,000 hours of his life, but his audio program would. He'd give me four if I was lucky, but I got 4,000 because I tapped into mentors from afar that could help me grow faster. And then I found coaches, coaches that could accelerate my, my learning. Somebody who's been farther down the road and could teach me. And I'd be willing to take action because I will tell you this, action is the thing. 
If you want to become a great dancer and you study forever and you don't dance, are you going to be a good dancer? Yes or no? No, you have to dance and then the study will help. What if you have a mentor and you don't dance? You're still not going to be a good dancer unless you have to start dancing. Then the mentor will start to be able to help you. Same thing with a coach. The coach is only going to be any good if you actually start dancing. And guess what? You got to be willing to look bad at the beginning before you're going to look good. So anyway, strategy. Awareness, modeling, mentors, coaches, and finally, surround yourself with people who think bigger than you. And as soon as you do that, then you're going to start to be able to move faster. Fourth is leadership. Leadership. Leadership is the engine that drives it all. Leadership is the whole game. A leader causes action that wouldn't have been there if that leader didn't exist. A leader creates activity just from their presence, from their energy, from their being. A leader. So I learned how to develop myself into a leader because I felt bad for my team. My team didn't have a very good leader. I listened to a training once and the trainer, trainer said, would you want to be sponsored by you? And I was like, oh man. Answer was no. I wasn't a very good leader at all. I was a good follower, good soldier. I went, wow, I've got to be, I've got to develop myself into a leader. And I did. And then second, I learned how to identify people on my team that had the potential of becoming a leader as well. You know how you do it? I'll help you. You're looking for three things. If you're gonna sort through your whole team and look for a potential leader, you're looking for three things. Number one, they need to be willing. You can't force somebody to be successful. They have to be willing. Number two, they need to be coachable. You can't help somebody who won't listen. And number three, they need to be hungry. You can't coach hunger. Hungry for more, hungry for change, hungry for growth, hungry for a better life, hungry to contribute more, or do something for their family, hungry to leave a legacy, hungry to contribute. So willing, coachable, and hungry. Now here's the bad news. I'll give you bad news and the good news of network marketing. The bad news is this. If you're not all three, if you're not willing, coachable, and hungry, you will not make big money in network marketing. You're what I call a tourist. Thanks for coming. Take all the pictures you want. Go on all the rides. Visit all the sites. Take some pictures. Make some friends. But we know eventually you're going to go home. And that's okay. You know, every, everybody loves their tourists. We're glad you came. Hope you keep using the product when you go home. But you're not a citizen here. You're just passing through. But here's the good news. If you're willing, coachable, and hungry, not only will you be a long-term citizen of this profession, you don't need anything else. You don't have to know a lot of people. You don't have to be talented or smart. You don't have to have a lot of influence. You don't have to have education. You don't have to be a certain age or gender or live in a, a big or small city or live in what time, what part of the world that is a value, important part of the world. None of that stuff matters, nothing. Your past successes or failures don't matter. If you're willing, coachable and hungry, you are enough. And you can go all the way to the top. And I was so grateful that that was the truth because that's all I had. All I was was willing, coachable, and hungry. I did not have skills. I barely escaped high school. I had 18 jobs by the time I was 24 years old, really, and no kidding. And then this profession molded me into something that was better. I was able to bring more value to the world. So, Skills, mindset, strategy, and leadership. There's four phases in network marketing. Let me give you the four phases. Four phases of growth. First phase is zero to $100,000 a year in income. Zero to 100,000. 
phase one. This phase is all about making a decision, learning some skills, and working your butt off. And everybody joins network marketing to have freedom, right? Financial freedom, time freedom. And they're super confused in phase one because they don't have any freedom at all. You don't get to have freedom in phase one. You're building a foundation. You're making 80 grand a year. You don't have freedom. You don't have duplication, really. You have to do it all. You've, you, you're helping recruit everybody. You're helping get all the customers in. You're getting everybody started. You're promoting all the events. You're doing everything. If you slow down for a minute, the group slows down for a week. That's phase one. That's building a foundation. That's the price you're paying. Phase two is 100,000 to 300,000. And that phase is all about duplication. Systems, tools, campaigns, helping people go from, from dependent on you to independent from you. Duplication. Phase three is from 300,000 to a million. And that's all about promotion. Learning how to promote, promote events, promote products, promote culture, promote systems, promote team, promote company. Learning how to promote. And phase four is a million plus, and that's all about leadership, identification, and development. To creating a leadership factory inside of your team. Okay? So your hosts have told you a little bit about the GoPro event. Do they know a little bit about it? A little bit or a lot? Yeah, they've uh, been put out the uh, yeah. link already, so they've seen You guys that. know a little bit. Let me just tell you about it, and then I want to invite you to be a part of it, and I want to make it impossible for you not to say yes, okay? Um, I want to make it really hard for you to, uh, avoid say, or to, or to avoid saying yes to this tonight. This event, the GoPro event, has been the biggest event in network marketing for the last 10 years. We can't hold it because of COVID, uh, social distancing, travel restrictions, border restrictions, everything else. Um, it's in, in December of this year. It is December 11th, 12th, and 13th, three days. December 11th, 12th, and 13th. And because we can't hold it online, we've created a really cool ability to deliver it to you because we're building this studio this is a $20 million studio that we are building right now in Las Vegas that's going to deliver this event in real time. Your faces will be up on that screen. It's going to be it's 62 feet around, 14 feet tall. It's a spaceship that we're building to be able to host this event. And you're going to be able to be a part of it for three days, nine hours a day, 27 hours of the best training in network marketing. And guess what we train? Skills, mindset strategy, leadership, and we give you a game plan to make 2021 the best year of your life. Okay, so a ticket for this event is $297. Now, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to come to Las Vegas. We're going to deliver it directly to your home, 297 bucks. And they'll put a link into the comments, but I want to show you something in addition to this event if you make a decision to get a ticket today, that I want to give you. So it's virtualgopro.com forward slash you crew nation, right? Is that right, Ricky? Yes, sir. All right, virtualgopro.com forward slash you crew nation. And maybe they can put that into the comments. You can just click on the link. I want you to get it while we're having this conversation. And those that do it, I'm going to give you some additional bonuses. Anybody who registers today, I will give you all six of my best-selling courses that I've ever created for free. I'll deliver it to your inbox. You'll have it in 20 minutes. First steps, unstoppable confidence, mastering objections, social media mastery, seven skills in seven days, and my number one best-selling course, how to recruit 20 people in 30 days. I've got two versions. One is just a regular course, and the other one's just for women. $2,000 worth of courses, for real. I will give you all six of these if you register for this event today, okay? So make it really, really easy. Now, in addition to that, we got 367 people on here. 
This book, number one book in network marketing, sold over 3 million copies. What I'm going to do for the first, mm, let's say first 100 people who register. You click on this link and register right now. I will sign a copy of this book. I'll put it in a package, I'll pay for the postage, and I will mail it to your house, just for fun, okay? So if you'd like to have a, a signed copy of the GoPro book, happy to do that for the first 100 people that do it. Not only will I give you the, the six courses, $2,000 worth of courses for free, but I'll give you this as well, just for fun, okay? Um, so I want you to do this while we're, and if you already bought your ticket, I'll, I'll take care of you. If you already bought your ticket, you'll get your bonus courses. So don't worry about any of that stuff. Uh, I'll we'll take care of you. So click on the link and do that. And I've got to tell you something, a couple things actually. You might wonder why I'm here on a Tuesday night, seven o'clock Pacific time, having this conversation with you. Um, I will tell you this, I'm not here because I need the money. I, uh, I was done working for money a long time ago. Let me tell you why I'm here. On this call right now, there are about 30 people or so, maybe 40, that you're ready to change your life. And People might not even know who you are. They might not know your name. You're, you, you might not be famous inside of a sale. You, know, the, you might be a, an invisible distributor. But what people don't know about you is they don't know what's in your head and they don't know what's in your heart. And they don't know that you've been getting closer and closer to making a decision. Closer and closer to saying, you know what? It's my time. I'm going to do it. And the reason why I'm here more than anything else is five years from today, one of those 30 or 40 is going to tap me on the shoulder somewhere in an airport, at an event, somewhere around the world. And they're going to say, excuse me, you don't know me, but back in 2020, on October 20th, I was on this Zoom call and you shared some ideas and I made a decision. And today I'm at the top rank in the company. I've impacted tens of thousands of lives. I've changed my family history. And that decision and that day changed my life. And that's why I do what I do because I get to be part of these stories. I get to be connected in, in the, this little interesting way. I get to be connected with you. I get to be connected on the journey. And not only are, is, is the GoPro event gonna help, but the relationship that we're developing together between your leadership, who are spectacular, big hearted, really smart, ambitious, strong people, and your corporate staff, um, who really are determined to create a home for you that is unstoppable. I want you to understand something. Being in the right place at the right time, which you are, is not enough. You've got to be the right person at the right place at the right time, and you've got to take the right action at the right place at the right time. And that's what we're going to help you do. Between the GoPro event, the seven-day recruiting challenge, and your leaders being plugged into our mastermind, everything else, we're going to do some really cool stuff. Now, I want to, if I can, can I shout out some people? Ricky and Fran Francois, is that okay? You can do whatever you want, brother. All right, I'm going to shout out some people. Uh, these are the first people who, while we were having this conversation, they made a decision and they got their ticket, okay? Leanne Flores, Christina Gamet. Sebastian Castelli, Allison Abshire, Melinda Wheeler, Barry Jackson, Amy Lafitte, Jeffrey Gonzalez, Dottie Ve Vevoda, Renee Monroe, 
Lindy Graham, Diana Mo Moshier, Alexis Soli, Tiffany Caballero, Jacqueline Vasquez, Loretta Dayhill, Suzanne Walsher, Timmy Dew, Lynn, Linda or Lindy Turner, Jamie Manning, David Juarez, Ashley McCabe, Lauren Richards, Monica Gitan, and I'm, I apologize if I'm, I'm butchering these names, but I'm doing my best. Maya Guerrero, uh, Choice El Elsick Chappelle, Melissa Campbell, Stephanie Young, Benjamin Gifford, Candace Ramsdell, Kyleen Lustry, Lorraine Balderrama, Martha Wallace, Laura Nelms, Amanda Fairchild, Mung Sai, Jean Armstrong, Barbara Reichert, Dottie Vevoda, and hold on one second. Hold on. Amber Neely, um, Jamie Debranos, Kathy Damer, Francis Jones, Tanya Valentine, Valentine, uh, Eric Diaz, nice name, uh, Alba Garcia, Michelle McCormick, Elaine Catuara, Casey Rogers, Anthony Camo, Camo, uh, Bonnie Parkinson, Linda O'Brien, Joe Medina, uh, Angelica Castro, Jennifer Spears, Shana, uh, Shanna Kurtz, Stephanie Wilson, Elena Mason, Mason, Zach Staniker, Catherine Quadra. Laura Nelms, Melissa Jean Quintanilla, Cheryl Pruitt, Lysandra Fournier, Bridget Trujillo, Trujillo. Um, hold on. I'm going to do them all because I don't care. Um, Darcis Millian, uh, Joseph Pina, Christina Lago, Angie Fierro, Folger Emerson, Alejandro Morales, Alexander Norcas, um, Jamie Cadena, Jacqueline Wilson Fitz, Jerry Anglin, Kim St. Clair Seals, Barbara Singleton. Where's Singleton? Hold on. Uh, Deborah Tapia, Kelly Katuna. Um, those are just some, and, and I could keep going, but. I will tell you when um, Ricky and Francois told me that they were going to put a thousand people plus into the GoPro event. I was like, okay, we'll see. Um, but they've, they've shown me not only through who they are and spending time with them at my home, but through the people that, that you are inside of this room, it shows me the quality of the leadership that's around and the quality of the people involved. So I will tell you, you can do great things. I will give you a couple things. Number one, I will tell you that every one of you needs to think bigger than you're currently thinking. The world is not served by you playing small. And every one of you needs to expand your imagination and double your goals and double them again. You need to do something that scares you. Get outside of your comfort zone and think bigger. Give yourself permission to think bigger. Even if it scares you, it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be anxious of the unknown. But I will tell you, here's what's not okay, is to stay small. The world isn't served by you crawling through this experience. You gotta decide that you're gonna go after it. So think bigger. Number two, you need to be stronger. Now more than ever, the world is looking for strength. You need to be stronger than your upline, stronger than your circumstance, stronger than your upbringing, stronger than your own even belief system in yourself. You got to give yourself permission to be stronger. Some of you are dimming your power, dimming your light to make somebody else feel okay about themselves. And you need to stop doing that. Show the world the strength that you have within you. Give yourself permission to show the real power that you have even if it makes somebody else uncomfortable. And number three, every one of you needs to move faster. If you're gonna register at some point anyway, register now. If you're gonna do something anyway, do it now. Success loves speed, you need to understand that. 
The biggest lie in network marketing is you'll succeed if you just don't quit. That is not true. Just hanging around is not going to make you a success. Now, of course, quitting is going to guarantee that you fail, but hanging around is not going to make sure that you win. So instead does not win the race. Your mascot should not be the turtle hanging around, crawling around. You got to take that t-shirt off and say, you know what? I'm going to run. I'm going to run. I'm not going to crawl. I'm going to run. And you don't have to run for forever, but you got to run for a season. If you want to have an airplane and have it take off and get altitude, you got to give it 100%. Even if the flight's a short flight, you still got to give it 100% to get off the ground. And then decide how long you want to go. Even if you're part-time, you got to go 100% for a little bit. So the recruiting challenge that we're going to do is going to help you. Okay? It's going to help you. GoPro is going to really help you. Let me talk to you about the recruiting challenge for a moment because it's going to, it's epic what, what, what we're going to accomplish together. November 11th through the 17th. It's free. A free seven-day experience where we're going to help you recruit during the seven days, not just learn how to recruit later. Now, if you go, all you have to do is go to the same link, which is goprorecruitingchallenge.com forward slash you crew nation. And you can register for this seven day challenge and it's free. And every person on your team can register and it's free. And over the course of seven days, we're going to train you and inspire you and give you ideas and assignments and help you have a breakthrough. And I have a bunch of my celebrity friends that are going to be part of this. If you know Les Brown, if you know Les Brown, Les is going to be part of this challenge. Grant Cardone is going to be part of this challenge. Marie Forleo is going to be part of this challenge. Uh, Dean Graziosi is going to be part of this challenge. Brendan Burchard is going to be part of this challenge. Bob Proctor is going to be part of this challenge. I mean, all of this for free for you. And we're going to help you recruit. If you got 10 people on your team, get 10 people into this challenge and we'll take your team from 10 to 20 in a week. If you got 100 people on your team, get them all into this challenge. We'll take your group from 100 to 200 in a week, in seven days. And guess what we're going to do during those seven days also? We're going to let people know about the GoPro event in December. And we're going to invite them to get a ticket, just like we've done with you today. So it all fits together perfectly. So number one, get your ticket. Encourage your team to do the same thing. Load that up. Number two, don't wait, but red, don't wait to recruit, but register for the seven day recruiting challenge. And you're gonna start getting some training immediately inside the Facebook group that you'll be entered into as part of that challenge. You'll start getting some training immediately that's gonna help you have some progress between now and the time when we start that challenge. So look, I can already tell this group is gonna do big things. I do a lot of Zooms. This is my calendar. Take a look at how many Zooms. All of those colors are Zoom calls that I'm doing. I talk to a lot of teams and I can tell by the energy of this team that you guys are gonna do spectacular things. And I'm proud to be able to work with you in order to be able to help you make it happen. But um, I'm super proud of you. Not even knowing many of you, you know, we haven't met. But I'm proud of you for being here. I'm proud of you for being an entrepreneur. I'm proud of you for choosing network marketing as the best vehicle to express your entrepreneurship. I'm particularly proud of you for joining this company because I think this company is going to do spectacular things. I see a lot of companies. Yeah, I see what's going on in the whole world. You've chosen well. You have a great future ahead of you if you develop you, okay? So we're going to do that together. It's going to be spectacular. But I will give it back to your illustrious, uh, spectacular hosts that I had a great time having at our home over the course of this last weekend. And I'll let them uh, take it from here.
Awesome. All right, guys, oh, please, in the comments, just give Eric Corey a big round of applause and thank you. I know everyone just receives a lot. Yes, I have a page of notes. And I think I've heard you say some of, some of these things in the past, some new stuff. It's, it's amazing every time you speak. There's just so much wisdom. We just really look up to you and honor you for everything you do. We really appreciate you getting on here tonight. Super excited for all of, all of you guys who committed and got on there. I mean, there were so many gifts. I was kind of upset that I couldn't register, even though I know I'm going, right? I'm like, I'm like I can't even do that right now. <laughs> you get all the stuff. You still get all the stuff. I'm like, I need to go do that. I want a sign book and everything. But um, no, it, it's just been um, beautiful to see how gracious your heart was tonight. And thank you so much. Thank you, Eric, brother. You're a blessing. All right, guys. So, um, you know, my hair grew back on my head. Uh, I know. <laughs> uh, so I don't need any right. kind of product for that. But uh, uh, Eric's a huge blessing, and mm -hmm. I'm so excited for the next step for this team. I mean, we showed up. I mean, we showed up tonight. We're going to continue showing up. My wife and I are going to work relentlessly to get uh, a thousand people at minimum. Now, I'm talking to Daniel after he did the Zoom with Eric today. Viseo is fully on board. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, Eric Worre and his team are constructing emails right now to go out to all of Aseo, all the distributor base, not in just United States. After talking to Daniel after the Zoom, it's going to go to the Asia base too. Mm, so There's good. four other corporate offices around the world outside of the US and 50% of our volume is international. So this is a big deal. And then I talked to Dallin this afternoon. He said, Ricky, I am fully on board with not only Eric's vision, but even I want you and your wife to know I'm on board with your vision. And that meant a lot to me because, you know, I see a plan here, as I, I said today in the Zoom, I mean, the Facebook Live, that this is a, a planned out, but this is step one. Tonight was step one, and we have it planned out and mapped out. Step one happened tonight. And actually before step one, it was kind of a concerted effort to get the company on board because listen, Ricky, Francois, you crew nation blow up great. But my heart is to blow up Dallas company mm. to make Viseo a household name. If we're going to go out and create a $20 billion company, uh, it's going to take 90% Ukraine nation and 10%. <laughs> it's going to take a whole company effort to do that. And uh, we can't be selfish. We got to be selfless. And how we do that is we bring the whole company with us. And 3% and 2% founders bonus, 5% rev share is pretty good mm -hmm. when the company blows up. Yeah. So we're going to have all of Asia get an email from Eric's team. Mm -hmm. We're going to have all of US get an email from Eric's team. And guess what? It's not only going out to the active people in the company, it's going to go out to the inactive people for the recruiting challenge and GoPro. So this number could go to 5,000. I don't ever think small. You know, I didn't get in this profession to, to hit any small rank. My wife and I said we wanted to be bigger than anybody's ever been because that's the potential God puts in all of us. But not only that, we already see what's possible. So if we go and think that big, guess what? Your life gets better. And I can't be a leader or my wife and think small. So this is the first step and I'm proud of you. I'll say that mm -hmm, to too. hear your names called out by Eric showed me that you guys want a better future. Yes. You want better freedom. And not only that, that you always are there locked in with us and your leadership. You know, I want to thank Mario Delgadillo, Lauren and Jared Richards. They've been locked arms with us. They are on board. They've been pushing just as hard as us. I know this just started a couple of days ago. So like to already have over 100 hours. people <laughs> registered for GoPro is just day one. I know. Um, if we do 100 a day, by the end of the week, next week, we have 500 people. And we're not going to stop all the way to December, all the way to November. We're going to push very hard. And then we're going to go into 2021 and we're going to make noise. As Eric says, Viseo needs to get loud. Well, you crew nation is going to get loud. I don't care what any other team does. We're going to give them the opportunity, what they do with it, it's their own business. Right. But I'm going to tell you what we're going to do with it. We're going to break the most diamonds in the company in 2021. We've already broken the most diamonds in the company than anybody, any other leaders, this team, not my wife and I, this team that All you're on you the guys. Zoom. Mm -hmm. So imagine what we're going to do with a new product that no one else has in network marketing in 2021. 
all of Eric's wisdom in the profession, I mean, you've seen just a little bit of it tonight, but imagine what happens when we walk in in 2021, when we're all thinking that big, where we're all fired up, we go into our convention two weeks after New Year's. I mean, it's just perfect timing. We're gonna blow this thing up. We're gonna knock the cover off the ball. And I'm gonna watch a lot of people, you know, tears came to my eyes. When he said the 40. When he said the 40. Me too, I was like, man. And I'm gonna say the 100. I feel I'm like there's say... so many. I mean, I look out in the, as the Zoom, you know, changes pages and stuff. I just look at all the people that I just know there's so much greatness in you. And I believe in every single one of you so much, but there are some people that are ready, right? It's kind of like your children, right? Like when you have kids, you know that one's maybe ready to step into a next level of life. And there's so many of you, it's just that decision, you know, it's making that decision. And I love that you signed up for these things because I know for Ricky and I, the only reason why we went fast or faster than a lot of other people hitting diamond or black diamond was because we compressed time frames. We were student of just learning and sitting at the feet of mentors, whether it was an audio, whether it was people that we talked to. I mean, anytime our upline was around or anyone that was that had the life that we wanted, I mean, I would take notes. It was kind of weird. Sometimes we'd go out to lunch with our mentor and I'd be like taking notes. I always took those opportunities. So even today, just a couple minutes that Eric just shared his heart. I mean, there's just so much wisdom and depth in what he said, right? He's just so seasoned. So, you know, they say you are the five people you hang out with and you guys are hanging out with Eric Worre right now, right? So how cool is that, right? Like, hey, hope you guys did some snapshots of those pictures because he is a legend, you know? And when Ricky says the Godfather, you know, he wasn't old, it was just, he does have so much wisdom and people just look up to him. So you guys, I think we're leveling up, you know, we have a, a path to success right now, the seven day recruiting challenge, we go right into GoPro, right? And then we push for the convention. Just think how fired up and how amazing we all will feel and how, how our self-esteem will be so, you know, so high because we'll be ready. And like he said, we were getting better, right? And so by the time that 2021 happens, we're gonna be ready to go to that next level. So super excited. <clears throat> so as we end this, think about this. My wife and I's first meeting for Viseo was four people in our great room. And a lot of people would say, oh man, four people, you can't be that bold in front of four people. Um, that might be deflating for most, right? And you're getting in a new company, you don't know anyone, mm -hmm. and you only have four people standing in your living room. I want you to understand with them four people, my wife and I stood there with the same conviction mm -hmm. that we have now. Mm -hmm. And what do I mean by that? I looked at every, everybody, the, the four, four people, people. <laughs> and said, we will build the biggest team that's ever been in this profession. They will write books about this team. So I'm getting goosebumps. What do I'm saying here is, will you plow the field for four, four years? Will you go through all the pain? Will you do all the work? Will you sacrifice your life? Will you make the decision, but still, the message be just as clear today. I told Eric this, I've told down this since I started, so is my wife. The message in our great room was the same then and it's the same now. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed our vision. People quitting, people uh, leaving, whatever, things in our personal life, nothing's changed our vision. And when you get crystal clear vision on a big dream, big goal, whatever that is, and you don't let it change, then guess what? You see what starts to happen. Four years later, Eric Worre is on this Zoom. We are at his house because we never lost the vision that we had the first day. And that's what I want to press upon you guys tonight. Keep your vision and write it down and don't, and don't let anybody darken that vision, take that vision away. And I promise you that you're your mind, your footsteps, your action will lead you to some of the biggest dreams of your life. And that's what I want each and every one of y'all to see come in your life. When we made a dream board five years ago, there was stuff on that dream board I thought we might, you know, we're putting it on here, <laughs> but we might not ever have it, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden we find out they're going to give us a hundred grand for hitting a rank that bought the pool. Uh, no. You know, so like I could keep going. It's late. I just want you guys to have a crystal clear vision, yeah. but not only just vision, but be, um, believe it in your mind and never let it go 
and think bigger, faster. And you should think so big, people look at you crazy. Yeah. When I first met Dallin and told him these things, his eyes got big. When Even I told Daniel, Eric, I put a thousand yeah. people in the room. Listen, I've been around a lot of people. I can read body language. He's Eric, a okay, sure. <laughs> so like, that's what you have to say to attract big things. And because if you don't, say, if you keep the bar here, you never go here, right? So guys, think big, keep your vision clear, and let's go do this, all right? Love you guys. Hey, love you.